Welcome to Shift. We know you're keen to get started loading your content and playing around with your new website, but please give us a few minutes to watch this orientation video. A few minutes now will make the whole thing a lot quicker and easier for you. It will go over the basics, but it will also cover a few things that aren't so obvious as well, so please make sure you watch it. The first thing you want to do is log in. It's pretty easy. You simply go to your website's preview address and click on the admin icon at the bottom of your page. Alternatively, you can go directly to your login screen by going to your preview address and then put a slash dashboard at the end of the address. Once you're logged in, you'll notice a green toolbar at the top of the page. This is the toolbar you'll use to edit your website, and the toolbar won't be visible to your visitors. If you press your back to site button, you'll be able to browse your website and go to the different pages, just like your visitors would once you go live. You can edit any of these pages by pressing the edit page button. If you'd like to add pages, simply go to the add page button. The thing to keep in mind is when you press this add page button, it will be a sub page of the page that you're on. For example, if you navigate to your about us page and you press the add page button, this will add a sub page of your about us page and it will appear in your drop down menu at the top. When you're on your home page, it will just add a new page. The page categories up the top are set and these were programmed in to match what was on your design concept. Let's say you want to edit your home page. Navigate to your home page and then press the edit button. A special within page editing toolbar will appear. We'll briefly just go over these buttons now. Exit edit. This is pretty obvious. If you'd like to exit editing this page, press this button. When you do this, it prompts you to save or discard your changes. Page properties and SEO. This button allows you to rename your page, set the page's URL, and update your meta tags, which is used for search engine optimization, or SEO. Design. This button allows you to change the overall layout of your pages. For example, you can swap between having your sidebar left or right aligned, or having no sidebar at all. Most of our customers have two subtly different designs, one for the home page and one for the inner pages. That's where themes come in. You can change the design of each page to be the home page design or the inner design. Permissions. The permissions button is used for people with a members area where you can control who sees what pages. Versions. Let's face it, when you're entering your content, you'll probably make mistakes. You can easily revert back to earlier versions of your page. Page tree. You can use page tree to either move or delete a page. For example, if you've created a page, but you want to move it to be a sub page of your about us page, you can do this here. Your website's content is all made up of blocks. To edit a block, just click on it and select edit. To add a new block, click the add to option at the bottom of the area you want to add the block to. The most common block you want to add is called content. Simply put, this will enable you to add your own content, whether it be text or images. You'll find a familiar Microsoft Word looking toolbar for you to stylize your text. Let's add an image and some text. To upload an image, simply select Add Image. This will bring up the images currently on your site. To upload, simply press Browse. Find the image you want to upload on your site, and then press Open. Next click Upload, and your image will appear in the list. To select your image, click on the image, and click Choose. You can make images smaller by dragging the corners. Importantly, you can also affect the appearance of where your image shows up in relation to your text. If you want your text to wrap around the image, just click on your image and click the Edit Image button and then Appearance. Select the alignment from the drop-down 
it's a good idea to give your image some horizontal space, so your text isn't hard up against your image. This box is in pixels, so put around 5 pixels in the box, and then click update. Click update again, and your text and images are on your page. This may not appear so obvious, but you'll use spaces a lot. Basically, you use them to create a space between blocks. Because you don't want all your blocks hard up against one another, you can use a space of block to insert gaps between them. You can use page list to list pages in your website. For example, if you'd like to list all your sub pages under your About Us page, you can insert a page list block that will do just that. YouTube Video and Google Maps blocks are good examples of blocks that perform handy functions that you can use on your website. Pretty obviously, you can use the YouTube Video block to display YouTube videos that are embedded in your site. Likewise, use the Google Map block to display your place of business on a Google Map. The Form Builder block is exceptionally handy. You can use it to create your own contact forms. You can create your own form fields that use tick boxes, radio buttons, text fields and much more. When your visitors fill them out, the results will be emailed to you. Lastly, we have an Apps Marketplace. If you need some special functionality on your website, we're likely to have an app for it. You can use the Apps Marketplace to download and install apps directly onto your website. For example, if you're selling to overseas visitors who may not speak the language, you can purchase an automatic translation app that will translate your whole website into around 50 languages automatically. Want to change the position of a block? No problem. Just click on the block and press move, then simply drag the block to where you want it to appear. So you've set up content blocks and now you want to style them. There are two ways of doing this. You can either create your own styles or you can select from a block style templates. If, if you're wanting to style a content block or a page list block, using our block style templates is the easiest option for you. Simply click on the block you want to style and then select block style templates. Here you've got over 50 styles to choose from. We're currently working on a thumbnail selection tool, but for now, just click on this link, find the thumbnail that you like the look of, and find the name. Then make the selection from the drop down menu. You'll have a specially designed block that looks in line with your branding. This block is called Custom One. Want something a bit more custom? No problem. Here you can create the styles yourself. Just click on your block and click Custom Block Style. Here, you can create background colors and images and the style of your borders. Shift is extremely flexible. If you'd like to add your own layouts to your pages, you can. Simply select Add Layout. You should use this sparingly, but if you'd like to get custom, you can. Your scrapbook is like the clipboard on your computer. If you want to copy blocks and use them in other areas of your site, you can copy a block to your scrapbook and then paste from scrapbook once you've done so. Your dashboard gives you access to features that aren't page specific. Here, you can view your sitemap, which gives you an overview of all the pages you've set up, your file manager, which shows you all your images and documents, your reports, which gives you an overview of your contact form usage and survey results, your users, which is used to manage users of your members area, and your scrapbook, which shows you blocks you've copied. To update your rotating headers, you'll need to log into your header CMS. The web address for this is found in your welcome email. To change your images, just use the same username and password you use to log into Shift. Finally, when you've got your content in and you're ready to make your website go live to the public, just press the Go Live button and follow the prompts.
A support team will then make arrangements to get your site live to the world. If you still have questions, the best thing to do is to email support at 123online.co.nz with your questions and we'll guide you through anything that you need to know. I hope this video has given you a good rundown on this amazing new system. Good luck getting your content in and remember we're here to help. So if you'd like to talk, we'd love to hear from you.